Sí. sí. All right, we're good. All right, Shalom. Juan. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, 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 Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. And uh, today's lesson, uh, we're going to be going and see, you know, pretty much how Yahweh Bashim Yashai is not dealing with, you know, what the world so called uh, calls so called Valentine's Day because, hey, you're not going to find a holiday uh, by the name of Valentine's Day in the scripture, man. Why? Because the Lord ain't with it, man. All right. And this is uh, an article from the brother. It says, uh, and the headline reads, uh, the dark origins of Valentine's Day. It's like you. Okay. You see it right there. All right. It says Valentine's Day is a time to celebrate romance and love and kissy face uh, fealty, but the origins of this festival of candy and cupids are actually dark, bloody, and a bit muddled. Says though no one has pinpointed the exact origin of the holiday, one place to start is ancient Rome. All right, and hey, through the spirit, man, what are we in uh, the the revised or the, the revived Roman Empire, man? Because right, what everything America is based on, man, they take uh, certain antiquities or ancient customs from Rome, all right, such as the Senate, or you had the Senate back then in Rome, or you had the uh, plebeians and patricians back then in ancient Rome, and what do you have today? All right, the Democrats and Republicans, man. All right, so, and it, it's many, it's many uh, other uh, Roman customs that America has uh, implemented today too, as well, man. All right, that's right, bro. It says uh, the Roman celebrations were violent. It says from February thirteenth to fifteenth, the Romans celebrated the feast of Lupercalia. It says the men sacrificed a the men sacrificed a goat. And a dog then whipped woman with the highs the animals they had just slain it says the roman romantics were drunk it says they were naked noel linsky now a religious studies professor at yale university told npr in 2011 it says young young women will line up for the men to hit them linsky said it says they believe this, this would make them fertile the brutal feat uh included a matchmaking lottery in which young men drew the names a woman from a jar, the couple would then be um, coupled up for the duration of the festival or longer if the match is right. It says the ancient Romans may also be responsible for the name of our uh, of our modern day of love. It says Emperor Emperor Claudius II executed two men, both named Valentine, on February 14th of different years in the third century. It says their martyrdom was honored by the Catholic Church. And a celebration of Saint Val with like you with the celebration of Saint Valentine's Day it says um later Pope uh Gelasius the first muddled things in the fifth century by combining Saint Valentine's Day with Luper Lupercalia to expel the pagan rituals. But the festival was more of a theatrical interpretation of what it had once been. Let's come at it. What did it say? Let the country off. What did it say? Pagan. All right. So what? What are these? These, these not these non real so called holidays that that our people are celebrating? They're pagan holidays. These are not high, high holy days. They're not mm -hmm. mentioned in the Bible. These are are days <clears throat> that these people come up with and have you celebrate. And you know, if you really go into the origins of these things, nine times out of ten. Most of the time, what is going on on these days? These are wicked days. These are days that mm -hmm. people did all type of sacrifice. Look what he said. They sacrifice goats. They sacrifice mm -hmm. dogs. You know, they do all manners of wickedness on these days. And what do our people do? We, they jump up and, and, and go spend their money and, and try to keep up with the ways of the world, man. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right, bro. Because what? Yeah, how about Shemel Shai gave us what? But the Lord gave us the Passover. Uh, the Feast of Weeks, man, All right? The Memorial of the Blowing of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and many other high holy days for us to follow. That's why when you go to, um, I'm gonna grab this real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 10, beginning of verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, 
O house of Israel. So the Lord is talking to the nation of Israel, man. He's talking to Jacob. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right, this is who he's directing this message to. Verse 2 says, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. All right, and did not this article just say that you could trace this back to Roman? All right, we know pagan Romans, ancient Romans were Edomites, man, so-called white people, man. All right, supposed to be these. These are their ways, man. These aren't you no. Know, these aren't the ways that the heavenly Father has given unto us, man. All right, these are he heathenistic uh, 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 traditions, man. It says um, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Ultimately, what are the signs of heaven? The sun, the moon, the stars. So what you know? What we use the moon to uh, calculate, you no know, when the next Sabbath will come, or right, to calculate uh, certain high uh, holy days, so on and so forth. So ultimately, us as Israelites, man, we're not supposed to be dismayed. All right, by the signs the Lord that the Lord Yahweh Bashi Mashiach has set up in heaven, man. All right. And says, right. for the heathen are dismayed at them because at the end of the day, man, these things, you know, the Lord didn't set up these signs for the heathen, man. All right. This, these signs that Yahweh Bashi Mashiach set up, man, are for the nation of Israel. So once again, so we can de uh, determine the next high holy days, all right, the next Sabbath, so on and so forth. But the Lord's told us this is a commandment. He said, learn not the way of the heathen. All right, ultimately, what we're going into, man, is the way of the heathen, because you're not going to go anywhere in the scriptures and do a word search and find Valentine in there, man. That's right. Yeah. Uh, to, to, you know, and, and that's what our people do. You know, I've I, I seen it all today. You know, um, you know, and Jake is deep into these customs, man. Okay, they're deep into doing these wicked holidays, man. You got men that's actually out here that's going to go broke. To try to celebrate this holiday to do what? Keep their damn woman happy, man. All right. When when it, when when the brother just clearly read it said, "Don't follow the way of the heathen," but our people gonna do what? Continue to do the things that these heathens do. All right. And the bad part about it, we go all buck wild. We do it worse than the heathen do, man. All mm -hmm. right. Oh, go ahead. This is uh going on in the article it says uh but the festival. Was more of a theatrical interpretation of what it uh, had once been. Linsky added, "It was it was more so like it. It was a little more of a drunken revel, but the Christians put clothes back on it. That didn't stop it from being a day of fertility and love. And ultimately, hey, that that's how you know Yahweh Bashi Mashiach. He's not dealing with these Christian churches because what these right. Christian churches try to do, they try to uh, um, mend or uh, mix the scriptures and the ways of this world, man." Because right, hey, them churches celebrate what they be celebrating Halloween, or they change the name to so called a uh, harvest festival or a trunk or treat. Yeah. Are you I'm still sure. celebrating the wicked holiday, man? Yeah, right. These churches celebrate Thanksgiving, man. All right, it, it churches... so -called... Mm -hmm. go ahead, bro. It's so called uh Christmas, all right. Yep, they celebrate all these wicked, these wicked days, man. All right. It, 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 you, you know, our people are so dumb and so dumbed down. If they really pay attention to it, they come up with a different holiday every year. Or a siblings day. Or uh, what is it? Uh, Sweetest day. Mm -hmm. these, different, these, these, are different, these are different things that Esau comes up because at the end of the day, a lot of people fail to realize that America is a corporation. So this is, this is different things that, that Esau fundles up in his mind and comes up with for what? For Jake to go out there and spend money, man. All right? To keep their agenda going, all right. To 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 to, to really, you know how you idol worship because you really idol worshiping your woman or, or your or your man on that day because what you go out out you try to please them, you try to do anything to make things right for that person. So you idolize them, yeah. all right. Well, you really should be focused on your how about shimmy how was shy man. all right. Not these, not your woman, you know, not your, you know, you probably take care of your husband, but you know it shouldn't be a special day for you to want to do something. You know, that's right, bro. It says, um, and around uh, around the same time, the Normans celebrated a uh, Galatians Day. Galatin meant lover of woman. That was likely confused with Saint Valentine's Day at some point, in part because they sounded like you know that's uh, just what she was going into, bro. You know, Galatin meaning lover of woman because hey, we in today's day and age, man, we in a society that that caters towards the woman. And that puts right. the woman up on a pedestal. And um, I don't want to get off top, topic, but uh, that's scriptural, man. Because when you go to the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 31, and uh, verse 22, 
It says, how long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And that's where in, you know, pretty much compass means to go around the authority of a man. So that's where you get this, this, this uh, feminism bullshit from, man. All right, because ultimately, feminism is really a punishment you know, of our backslidings or our transgressions as a nation, man. All right, the woman has been uh, pestilized above a man. All right, in these times, man. All right, but hey, go ahead, bro. And you see it everywhere. You know, uh, a lot of people are, are probably, you know, they don't pay attention. Look at the movies, man. All right, woman, what was that? The, uh, the Woman King? The woman King, yep. All right, they just changed over the Black Panther to a woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, what they made, uh, even with Thor, they made Thor's woman, you know, have powers as well, man. So the, the mm -hmm. woman worship is, is very big in America. Okay. It's very big here in Babylon, man. All right. They, they, they push for that woman worship. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, you, uh, the, the woman is, is, is quicker to get hired before a man is, man. All right. Cause that's the agenda that Esau is pushing. All right. Hey, you know, that's why the scriptures say uh, there is no new thing upon the sun because, you know, this uh, woman worship, man, there was, this was going on back then uh, during the time of Acts as well, man. God. The so-called uh, goddess Diana. All right. God. Hey, so like this, once again, the scriptures say no new thing is under the uh, under the sun, man, because, you know, woman worship is at an all-time high today, man. All right. You got all these simps running around. Oh, oh, oh baby, I'll do anything for you. You know, I, I, I'll kiss your feet. Uh, I'll kiss your toe. I'll suck your toes. This, that, and the other. Like, like, come on, bro. You see, you see why the Lord has to come back and destroy this place, man. All right, because what, like, uh, you know, as Apostle uh, Rick always say, what these GMO babies, man, these low level fucking men. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, you know, you 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 should be worshiping your woman. You should be giving all praise, glory. To you, how about you? Hey, bro, can you grab Proverbs 29 and 2? Real God. quick, from you want that Proverbs or Psalms? Uh, I think it's Psalms. Yeah, Psalms. Okay, this is uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 29, and verse 2. It says, Give unto the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Ashai the glory due unto his name. We should be giving worship the Lord, Lord all the praise beauty of trust. holiness. We should be giving the, the, the Lord all the praise and glory and honor, man. All right, not no damn woman. All right, the Lord, the, the Lord deserves the praise, glory, and honor. All right, that's the only one we're supposed to be giving praise, glory, and honor to is your how about shimmy was shot, man. All right, not, not your woman, not your job, not your money, not your cars. Cause that's the other things that our people idolize as well, man. Money, cars, clothes. Hey, man, that, all that stuff is finna come to none. Like, right? This place is finna be destroyed. Our people really, really need to wake up. That, that's why, you know, a lot of our people are gonna be grab Jose Air Force Six. <laughs> so, I got you. I, it's so a lot of our, a lot of our people are finna be destroyed. Go ahead. I, come. On. This is uh, the book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. It says, my people are destroyed for, for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. That's right. See, because y'all want to keep rejecting it. How about shooting y'all shot? All right. And there's no excuse for you to say that you don't know about the Lord. All right. There's no excuse. All right. This, the gospel is being preached on the four corners of the earth. All right. So that's why you know you're going to be destroyed for the lack of knowledge because the knowledge is out there. All right, mm -hmm. you can't get on no type of social media platform right now and not know about the Israelites, man. All right, that's right. You know, so you, you people that uh that want to keep on skipping past the videos and oh, you want to mock and laugh and and, and wonder what's not going on and, and, and not inquire, and the Lord is going to forget you and that day and your children, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So when 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 little Billy over there in the corner, or or a uh, little JoJo over there in the corner, finna die, and remember that you did not want to obtain the knowledge of your high about Shimei Yahushua, man. All right, and we right. coming to certain times because look, man, we coming to famine. 
You got wars, rumors of wars. It's all types of things going on in the earth. And y'all still walking around want to celebrate fucking Valentine's Day. Oh, baby, I love you. You better love the Lord. You better get this truth. This is the only thing that matters, man. All the rest of that, all the rest of that BS don't matter. This is the only thing that matters. This should be your number one goal right now, man. All right, because hey, the doors of mercy are closing. Once they close, that's it. That's right, bro. You, you heard what Craig Daddy said on uh, Friday. That's your ass, Mister Postman. <laughs> okay, you know they can look. <laughs> you know, gotta have a little fun with it too. But hey, man, hey, these are the times that we finna come in. Jay got to quit celebrating these dumb down holidays and quit worshiping these women. That's right. There's nothing wrong with loving your woman, man. All right, but you ain't got to worship her. And today, and today, you had you had a lot of our people going out of their way, breaking the bank to worship their damn woman, man. Because they want to keep up with the rest of this world. Fuck this world, man. Go ahead, Doc. I'm sorry. Well, uh, whole time, whole time, they spending all these uh, gifts on women, all this money on women. Shit, that woman probably bro blowing another dude on the side, man. That's right. So, like, you know, it's like, and besides, man, you know, in the scriptures, man, the Israelite man is, is above the, the woman. But that goes back to Jeremiah 31 and 22, that the Lord has created a new thing on the earth, that a woman shall compass a man. All right. And we're in a society where everything is turned upside down. All right. But we know soon here in the near future, man, Yahweh watching me, I'm going to turn things right side up. I mean, right. to bring everything back to its true order, man. All right. You can't love the world or the things in this world, man. Mm -hmm. Period. You gotta let go of the ways of this world, man. That's right, bro. You gra grab that real quick, Bob Kusha. You know, man. This is uh the book of first John, chapter two, and uh verse 15, beginning of verse 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So you love in the world is uh, constantly continue to, to do the things of this world, like like celebrating today. That shows the Lord that you don't love him, man. All right, by constantly continue to, to be into these, these wicked pagan holidays, you're showing you how about you shy you don't love him, man. All right, the love of the Father is nowhere in you if, the, if you out here trying to make sure that you keep up with the Joneses and celebrate all these holidays and worship your woman. Hey, man, you don't love your high about you shot, man. You worried about self and image. Mm hmm Fulfilling the lust of the flesh. That's right, bro. Verse 16, it says, for all that is in the world, that, that's the spirit, because I just said that, it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Go ahead. I was also you know, uh, Valentine's Day, man, a so-called Christmas, so-called New Year's, man. All these different various holidays, man, that don't line up with the scriptures, man. All right, they're not of Yahweh Bashmi Yashai. All right, because ultimately Yahweh Bashmi Yashai did not set up these uh, uh, wicked holidays for us Israelites, man. All right. All these wicked pagan holidays are according to uh, Esau's wickedness, man. Yeah. Are right, not according to Yahweh Bashim Yashai's righteousness. So ultimately, all these uh, wicked holidays are not of the Father, man. All right. Once again, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, or Yahweh Bashim Yashai gave us what? The Passover, our uh -huh. the trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and various other high holy days, man. All right. Not no damn Christmas. Not no Valentine's Day, man. All right. Not, not no Thanksgiving. Not no New Year's. Not no. Not no. Not no goddamn Halloween, man. Now, that's not for us, man. All right. Okay. Okay. Verse 17. It says, And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. Right, man. Because hey, how about you is about to do do away with this current wicked rule shit, man? All right, this current wicked age, man. Because right, in the kingdom of heaven, man, ain't gonna be no ain't, ain't gonna be no uh, goddamn Valentine's Day, man. Right. Be no Christmas, no Thanksgiving, no none of that, man. All right, you gonna worship? We all gonna worship the high holy days that Yahweh Bashim Yashai has set up for us, man. All right, and knowing that, 
all right, knowing that in the kingdom of heaven, uh, uh, um, that uh, 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 righteousness is going to be established in the earth, man. All right. So ultimately, all these uh, uh, wicked holidays, man. All right. That's not going to be uh, uh, in the kingdom of heaven, man. That's going to be completely done away with once the hour of comes to destroy this kingdom, man. That's right. And it's coming soon. It's coming That's soon. Right. You know? Hey, man. Hey, man. The best thing for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans do, you Israelites, man, is to come out of the ways of this world. All right? Before you be destroyed with the world. And this is going out to the elect. Let go of the ways of the world before you be destroyed with the rest of the world. All right? That's right. Because we finna come into some trying times. All right? You gonna wish you wouldn't have bought you a can uh wouldn't have bought you a can of canned goods instead of buying them goddamn roses, man. All right? You so worried, man. And that, that's all I be worried about. Oh, I gotta make sure I do this for, for her. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Man, what you doing for the Lord, man? Does he deserve the praise? Does he deserve the glory? Not your damn woman. That's right, bro. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just frustrated with it, bro. It just it blew me all day. That's all you heard, you know? Because our people are so lost. They're so dumbed down. Esau got y'all so dumbed down that y'all don't even realize what's going on around y'all. You know? You got anything else, Doc? Yeah, I got a quick precept. Uh, this is uh, the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. It says, Beware, at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh shot. I right, also what what does that word spoil go into? Rob. So also you're uh, you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You're being robbed of your salvation. All right, by following Esau's wicked ways and philosophies, man. All right, because also these, these certain holidays, they're not leading you closer to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. They're leading you further away from Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right. So like it says, beware at least any man spoil you through uh through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, because this isn't the, tra the uh, tradition of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right, all right. You're not gonna go nowhere in the scriptures, and the Lord's gonna tell you on this day of this month, you shall worship, you know, you shall put your woman on a pedestal, and this holiday shall be called Valentine's Day. You're not gonna find that in the scriptures, man. No, all right. It says, uh, after the rudiments of the world, and ultimately, that word rudiments goes into principles or teaching. So, this world teaches you it's okay to celebrate Valentine's Day. This world teaches you it's okay to worship idols, right? This world teaches you that it's okay to celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, all these other various different wicked holidays that Yahweh Bashim Yashai did not set up for us, man. And also what? That's going to spoil you, all right, or rob you of your salvation, man. All right? It's like the brother of Kadash was going to, man. It's time to let go. All right? It's also, hey, your salvation, man. Hey, is this world, you know, worth losing your salvation, man? Uh, the answer is no. Because everything, uh, hey, all this, all this is about to, 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 to pass away, man. Just like that, man. Because once again, ain't ain't gonna be none of these holidays, you know, uh, being worshipped after the uh, kingdom of heaven, or after after this current kingdom is destroyed and the kingdom of heaven is established in the earth, man. All right. Okay. That's why uh that's why the scriptures say now is the high time to wake up out of sleep because our salvation is near than what we believe, man. That's right, bro. You gotta wake up out of that 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 sleepy slumber that 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 cloaked us over your eyes that Esau got over your eyes to continue to keep celebrating these wicked pagan holidays, man. Hey man, the Lord is finna come back, man. You know, hey, the Lord is not pleased with, with y'all going out celebrating these days. The Lord's not pleased with this. All right. So, you know, me and the brother, you know, we just, we want to bring out a few scripts to wake up, wake up the hopeful elect, you know, hey, man, hey, we want our people to come up out of this place, man, all right, hey, our salvation is so close, all right, the Lord is so close to cracking that sky and coming back, man, all right, so, hey, you got to let go of the ways of this world, and you better do it while you, while you, yet you have liberty, man, because mm -hmm. in the time when you don't have that liberty, you know? Huh, bro. You got anything else? No, that was it. Uh, 
It kind of so lower one is less was edifying to the body. Lower is I can put the uh, description uh, to the article in the, in, in the description box. It was lesson. Uh, you know, due to technical difficulties, I couldn't uh, screen share it. So, the Lord's will, once again, I could put the link in the description box. Uh, but without further ado, we'd like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who were well and preached the truth and truly sincerity. Shalom to the hopefully lick, and Lord's will we see in the next lesson. Until then, Shalom. Shalom.